there comes a time where you must stop blaming others for your lacks. There comes a time where you must stop blaming others for your lacks of results, for your headaches. There comes a time where you must stop blaming others for you arriving late. There comes a time where you must stop blaming others for you becoming a statistic. There comes a time where you must stop blaming others for your lack of power. There comes a time where you must stop blaming others for your lacks of self-control. Ask yourself, if you don't have control of yourself, then who does? If not who, then what? What? What TV shows are keeping you from developing yourself? What movements you got going on and you think it's progress, but rather a messy situation? You mean to tell me that your dream means so much to you that you put them on the shelves to collect dust? How do you wake up from exciting dreams where you are pumped up, seeing yourself and your success, living that success in the dream, but only to wake up to just go on the phone to see how you can waste more time? What little of a dream and a useless of breath and a waste of potential? Listen to me. Time waits for no man. The universe will not wait for you. The sun will go up and down whether you're ready or not. It will rise up and it will shine whether you're ready or not. The universe will be here when you wake up and when you asleep. The sky will rain. The sky will shine. The sky will snow when you are ready or not. If you keep wasting your time, ready or not, you will fall. And after you fall, you will see someone else living your dream whose potential that was given to you, the creation that was given to you for you to invent, but you weren't ready. Believe it or not, the universe speaks to us all. If you don't believe me, the next time I speak to you, it'll shock you. And then you'll be like, yep, John did say that. You ever been in a place that looks so familiar to you, but you know you haven't been there? However, the sight of thought or action or epiphany is so real, you start to say, it's deja vu. You find yourself preaching to others about what must be done. But in the midst of preaching to them, you found out that you were speaking to yourself. What you were saying came out your mouth, but fell on your ears. How do you prepare a message for a group only to find out the message you prepared for was for you? Someone once told me that before I look to fix someone else's problem, maybe I should fix mine first. Because I really have the experience on how to help others to fix theirs. You can wash my back with dirty hands. How can you give advices to something that you never encountered? How can you waste your time telling someone your dream, asking them for advice or direction when they lost and need direction themselves? Two wrongs don't make a right. You want to make an impact? Stop wasting your time. Utilize the time you have, the second given to you, the minutes, the hours, the days, the weeks, the months, the years, the decades, the centuries, the world, the universe. So no more excuses and use your time wisely. You see, God is on our side. He allows to create devices that tell time, that use his power to tell time. However, once a body dies, it can no longer tell time. It can no longer operate to do what it was made to do. But the creator of the universe has its own time that no man can control, nor stop, nor deceive. Time tells it all, people. I finally realized I was crying for time that I had so much of but misuses. How do you know? Well, for one, how big my classmate blew up, and then watching myself, watching them, seeing how my friends became a positive influence, doing what I took so long to do. Seeing how I gave up the opportunity that was at my doorstep, but scared to open the door and follow through. How do I tell myself that this is not the time, only to realize that I had the idea that has now become someone else's phenomenon? What are you afraid of? What are you or so afraid of to pursue or follow through? What stories will you tell your kids? What advices will you now give to others? I think I see it now. You gonna be that guy or girl who had all the works in their hands, all the tricks in the books, the finances, the support system, in a far better place than others, the show off, 
the I can do this later. The let me go chill with my boys. The let me go out with this girl. The let's go to the point of town where I have no business in. Let me put that time that I have to do something that I have nothing to do with. You gonna be that guy that someone use as a motivation to never be. If that's you, congratulations. You've wasted your time. Your potentials was too much of a burden for you to see through. If that's not true, get up. If that's not true, get up. If that's not true, get up and fight your fears. Get up and show up to your destination. Get up and show up. Let your goals tell you when to wake up. Let your goals tell you where to be and what time to be there. Let your goals tell you to trust the process. Let your goals tell you that in order for you to become you, you must evolve to give advices because you have not experienced the tribulation I myself put in front of me. I myself made up in my mind. I myself created but also defeated. God is so smart. He created time to have no boundaries. If time waits for no man, then I suggest you stop moving. But by all means, don't stop grinding. I swear, unleash your potentials.